fight him anyway. Okay. Eddie said they could get another squeeze in them a couple in before they have to fight someone decent. Um, well, I can see what they're doing. They're squeezing Povetkin and maybe until I'm whited, then they'll have to fight somebody decent. Is it Eddie Hearn or is it Anthony Joshua? Both of them. Um, Eddie Hearn is the brains, isn't he, behind it? And Joshua's the puppet, so he does as he's told. Puppet, puppet, puppet. Pull his strings and he works. And that's how it works. He's just a puppet for Eddie. And Eddie, um, Eddie don't want to risk him. Eddie has given Joshua the worstest bit of advice any man could ever give anybody. Don't take $80 million and go to America. And I heard Tony Bellew and Frank going at it yesterday. Yeah, what did you make of that? I reckon Tony Bellew is a little pussy. He needs to shut his mouth. Because Frank's 70 year old. And if he keeps on, I told you, he'll have to have a straightener. He don't get on the phone to me being cheeky, does he? What he can do it to a 70 year old, can he? It is what it is. They're just shit houses, aren't they? Um, but saying the deal wasn't there. I know for a fact the money's there. My lawyer, Robert Davis, is very good friends with Al Heyman and Shelley Finkel. And he's seen proof of funds. And he wouldn't tell me a lie. So the funds was there. What's he got to lie about? He said it's the worst decision anybody's ever made. $80 million down the toilet. And what happens if he gets knocked out by the kid? His heavyweight boxing just all knocked out Takam. Mm. It can happen. Mm. He's just lost all of that money. He'd rather take whether he's getting 8, 10, 12 million dollars, pounds, whatever it is, to fight Povetkin, than go and get 80 million for two fights. This is why I love this dude, man. He keeps it all the way funky, man. He just said that Joshua is a puppet to Eddie Hearn's whole game. Okay, let me let me backtrack on this, right? This is what most boxing pros have been saying about this whole Joshua Wilder situation, right? If you go back to Kevin Barry, Kevin Barry said the same thing uh, right before, well, not right before, weeks before the Dylan White and Joseph Parker fight. If you go back to, who's that dude, um, Carl Frosch? Frock, I mean Carl Frock, I'm sorry, Carl Frock. He said the same thing. The list goes on and on and on. They all said the same thing. They said, um, Joshua has a mandatory, if this fight's going to happen, it's going to happen next year. The fact that Eddie Hearn is promoting it for this year proves to me that it's not going to happen. Right? Tyson Fury just said the same thing right now. And, you know, it's it's becoming a little, I don't want to say blatantly honest, but um, it's becoming a little obvious that somebody in that Joshua camp doesn't have faith in Joshua to win this fight. He doesn't, man. Simply look at the headlines, right? Heavyweight champion in the UK takes on heavyweight champion in the US and Vegas is going to be one of the biggest fights ever. Hell, man, you might even get somebody like Mayweather to inadvertently promote that fight, you know? I doubt he would, but um, never mind that. The, the sheer optics of this fight prove that it's worth it, right? Provided that Joshua can win. I don't think that Joshua's team feel like he can win against Wilder at this very moment or ever. You want to know why? So it really takes you a year to make a fight, right? You want certain amounts of money, it's sent to you, right? You want proof of funds, right? It's so frustrating to go back and forth between both men, both camps. But one thing is fairly obvious with Joshua's camp. They've been ducking this dude. Been. Been, 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 been. Let me know what you guys think, like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. See that? See that? That's just the wrong way to look at it. Because Joe had his time. And Omar put an end to that. Then Marlo had his time, short as it was. And the police put an end to that. And now, motherfucker, it's our time. Mine's and yours. But instead of just shutting up and kicking in, you're going to stand there crying that back in the day shit. Jeez. There ain't no back in the day, nigga. Ain't no nostalgia to this shit here. There's just the street and the game and what happened here today. Right. When it was
was my uncle, I was with my uncle. When it was Marlo, I was with him. But now, nigga, what the fuck you do that for? Now we short the nine. That was for Joe. Thank you very much for, for, for this, for giving me this. And I appreciate my fans also. My wife and my girlfriend. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, I mean my wife. Yeah, sorry to say. I'm so, I'm so sorry, my wife. Lizzo, I love you so much. Aya, I love you so much from my heart. Next